Good evening. In this video, we will discuss what a character sheet looks like for the Schlock Mercenary Capital Offensive board game. This is a character sheet for Tagon. Every, ca every character sheet will have his name in the upper left. A picture of the character that matches the picture on the token. And then the number of actions that the character gets every turn. Tagon here gets two actions. Also, you'll see the number of defense dice that Tagon rolls when he's attacked. In this case, he gets to roll three dice. And every turn, he gets to move. And his move value is two dice. You roll them, and you get to keep the highest. In the combat readiness section, Tagon starts with two health. Health is marked by health tokens. The health token looks like this. At the beginning of the game, you'll put health token on, on each spot. Tagon also starts with two armor tokens and two epaulette grenades. Anytime Tagon takes damage, it'll come off the armor first and then to the health. Whenever he uses an epaulette grenade, you would remove an epaulette token. Further to the right, you see field capabilities. Tagon has two inherent abilities, which are marked by the DNA strand, and two Special actions, which are marked by the hands next to the actions, here and down here. Going through his field capabilities, one of his inherent abilities is only cheaters prosper. Tagon rolls may re-roll one die every time he makes a roll. His first special action is epaulette grenades. It has a max range of six. It requires line of sight for the initial throw. It is an explosive weapon. In the learning game, explosive weapons have no additional effect, but in the full game, they do extra damage if the target is adjacent to a wall in the target space. In the spot that the grenade hits, it does four damage, represented by the four and the red die next to it. And whenever you roll the attack dice, any ones or twos are auto misses, and you remove those. For each of the eight adjacent spaces around the target space, those spaces also take four dice worth of damage, but their auto miss is one, two, and three. Now, his requisition epaulets uh, inherent ability, as noted up near the top here, says instead of using the armory as normal, Tagon may regain one used epaulet grenade. Tagon starts with two epaulet grenades. If he uses one during the course of the game and he goes to an armory, instead of getting a new piece of armor, or a random equipment, he can regain his epaulette grenade. Lastly, Tagon has a laser pistol, which counts as a special action, and he'll use up one of his actions when he uses it. It does three damage, auto miss one and three. The last bit is the equipment status track here. All equipment, the equipment tiles, have a duration. You, you place them on the equipment track, and at the beginning of every one of that character's turn, it ticks down one. If it ever ticks off of the one down to zero, you put it in the discard pile and you no longer have access to that equipment. Additionally, when you use uh, a weapon, it uses up one tick on that equipment status. Really quick, there are ten characters that come in the base set. Those ten characters are Tagon, Schlock, Kevin, Thurl, Legs, Elf, Elizabeth, Petey, Shodan, and the main enemy of the base set is the Partnership Collective Drones.